think I could survive 24 hours without my phone? Um, good question. Not go one day without my phone. And I probably couldn't even go two hours. Could not go a day without my phone at all, ever. Definitely think I could last at least 24 hours without my phone. I could go a day without my phone. Okay. <laughs> uh, I need a Twitter. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I can go a day without my phone. Yeah, I think I probably could. No, I cannot last 24 hours without my phone. I definitely cannot last 24 hours without my phone. <laughs> definitely go 24 hours without my phone. No, I couldn't survive a day without my phone. Probably not, because that's kind of how I stay connected with everyone, and if I'm doing homework, I always use my phone to look up different websites, so now I, I cannot survive 24 hours without my phone. <laughs> Either way you look at it, social media has become the biggest change in our society. It affects the production of businesses as well as the popularity of public figures. I use social media to stay updated with everything that's going on. I post on Instagram like three times a week. I most use uh, the Snapchat. I tweet probably five times, but retweets is like throughout the day. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly retweets. I retweet everything. <laughs> I mainly use social media just to keep up with celebrities and what's going on in the world. My most used app is Twitter. As teenagers, we depend on social media to interact with one another. We use it to connect with others and to stay informed with news on celebrities, TV shows, and new music. Hi, my name is Lauren Digby. And I'm Sarah Crawford. And we decided for our documentary project that we wanted to test and see if we could go 24 hours without our phone. That's not going to happen. Probably not. It's, that's going to be really tough. But that's what we're going to do. And we'll see what happens. I can't live without my phone. I'm already upset about this. <laughs> Just kissing. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I just got home from school. It is currently 3.30. Currently 8 o'clock. And I'm about to give up my phone for 24 hours. I'm not looking forward to this at all. This is gonna be terrible. I already don't know what to do with myself. Why did I set myself up for this? <sighs> I like can't talk to anybody besides my family. Now, that's not fun. I'm really upset because I'm not going to know anything that's going on. I'm not going to be able to check Twitter or Instagram. I'm not going to be able to play Candy Crush. I don't, I don't know what to, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. I have to go to work, so I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave my phone here. I'm probably just going to go to bed. I mean, it's only 8. I usually stay at till like one just like on the phone <laughs> but since I can't do that I'm probably just gonna go to bed six and a half hours later work wasn't that terrible without my phone um, I normally don't look at my phone very often while I'm working cuz I'm not supposed to so I survived about how many hours 330 and it's like nine Right now. Two hours later. It's now 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's been a few hours and now I'm home and I can't even look at my phone. I have it currently turned off. I really miss my phone. It's been two hours and I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. I can't go on anything. I can't go on Instagram. I can't go on Twitter. I can't do anything. I'm gonna go to bed. Because I don't know what else to do. At least I get to sleep through like half the night. Like without my phone. Like I can sleep in during the day and I'm just gonna sleep the day away tomorrow because I have nothing else to do. I still have like a lot of hours left. Too many hours to do the math for. And I can't even do my math because I don't have my calculator because it's on my phone. So, I'm basically helpless without it. Like I go to reach for it in my pocket and it's not there. It's really sad. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm on my way to school now. Um, I made it through the night without my phone. It was really hard. It was hard to fall asleep. It's been about 18 and a half hours. 
without my phone. Um, my car is strangely quiet because I usually have the like Pandora on or like the songs from my iTunes, but I can't today and I refuse to st stoop to the level of putting on the radio. Nobody listens to the radio anymore. So that's like 1980s stuff that I refuse to do. I just, I really don't know what Harry's doing or Luke's doing. I don't know. Like what if they were having a follow speed right now? I couldn't tweet them to tell them to follow me. So I'm really upset. So I'm just gonna sit here in silence. I'm probably just going to watch Spongebob and make some breakfast because there's nothing else to do. The silence is like way too much so I like have to talk to fill the silence. I've survived without my phone for about 22 hours. I went through the whole day without my phone which was awful. I couldn't text in class. I couldn't do anything. I had one of those really awkward moments because like there's always that one class that you have where you have no friends in and so when everybody else is like sitting there talking to their friends like you're just sort of awkwardly sitting there and like everybody when that happens to them they always go on their phone well I couldn't do that today and I had one of those classes and it was awkward so I just like awkwardly dug through my purse it was really weird <sighs> I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked I have like two more hours and then I can I can finally go on Instagram I'm having withdrawals right now and I don't know how people could ever survive without a phone. Like, I could not do it. I just couldn't. Now I only have, let's see, it's 3.30. Get my phone back at 8. So I only have five and a half hours. No. Three and a half, no. Four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. More hours to go without my phone. And it's probably going to be the longest four and a half hours of my life. 22 hours, guys. I wish I win something or won something, but I... I don't. I just put my phone back. I'm content with that. So, um, yeah. Two more hours. Two more hours. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll read a book. <laughs> I'm not gonna read a book. Maybe I'm gonna walk my dog. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna walk my dog. Okay, so it's been 24 hours, guys. It's been 24 hours, and I can finally, I can finally have my phone. I'm so excited right now. I can go on Instagram and everything. Everything! I got my phone back. I'm so happy. I'm not gonna let this thing get out of my hands for the next week. Like, I'm gonna sleep with this, like, next to me tonight. Oh my god, people have texted me. Do you see this? I have a missed phone call, too. Do you see that? One text message, because I don't have friends, but it's okay. I have so much to do, I have so much to look at, I have so much to process. I just like, I can't, I can't let it go. I can know what Harry's doing now. Look, Luke tweeted. Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my god. You know, why not to celebrate the fact that I get my phone back, I'll post an Instagram picture. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. I, I... Posted. Well, just to celebrate that I got my phone back. Ooh, I got a like. Sweet. I'm never gonna do that again. I, I can't do that ever again. I can't. That was the worst experience of my life and I'm never, ever, ever gonna give up my phone again. I made it 24 hours without my phone. <laughs> Long story short, I cannot survive 24 hours without my phone. Well, I mean, I can, but I was not in the best, like, mindset. I was very sad. And I don't want to be sad. I want to be happy. Look what I missed. Look. Do you see this? I missed this face. So, I'm never going to give up my phone ever again. Not even for like five hours. Oh well. I don't, I don't know what else to say. This is like my life. This is my best friend. I'm going to go now because I'm just going to be spending time on my phone. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I got another like. Sweet. I check my phone like, like a lot. But there's not a number. <laughs> I'm not at school. I check my phone like, it's just always in my hand. Uh, I pretty much check my phone probably every single time. It vibrates even if it's just an email. I check my phone about two or three times like in every five minutes I would say. 
That was good. That was like candid.